getting ready to screed and lay the first half of the patio and as you've seen in the thumbnail there was a little bit of an injury on this job which was definitely my own fault and it was something I should have been paying more attention to but anyway what you see us doing here is we're setting up our first set of screed rails and when I say screed rails what we use is um, one inch interior so it's about one and a quarter inch exterior gas pipe galvanized gas pipe you get that from any of your home stores Home Depot Lowe's or even a hardware store but um, they're 10 feet long and like I said an inch and a quarter um, in diameter so they're nice and sturdy and they don't bend or warp and they give you a nice true um, screed and it gets you nice and level to where you need to be and uh, as you see right here um, this is what we we do to get it level to level the the base off for our pavers it's called screeding for anybody who um, doesn't know the industry too well and we'll set those uh, gas pipes up at the height we need for the bottom of the pavers to lay on and the um, the idea behind that is to set it so it's a little bit higher than where it needs to be to account for about a quarter inch compaction of the pavers and um, that's where we're at now and just a little trick uh, most pavers are about the exact uh, width of the level that you use two and three eighths and um, that's a good uh, good way to um, kinda see where you need to be but uh, this is what I do I use a uh, six foot level um, I will be getting a uh, a couple screed uh, levels in the future but they are expensive and the six foot level works perfect um, and I've used it a lot of times on patios but uh, we use chip rock on top of our open grade base and um, for anybody that's in the industry uh, like, I, like I've explained myself in a lot of videos on my channel um, we use open grade base and this one quarter inch crushed chip stone to allow for water to um, freely flow down into our sub base and prevent any water buildup under our pavers because that is the worst thing for any kind of paver or natural stone install is for it to be sitting in water but um, I'm gonna get right into this job here and just let you guys watch and uh, stay tuned for that little finger injury kind of uh, ruined the day but we got through it my sister came out gave me a hand and we uh, kept on working Thank you. 
right, guys, the injury's coming up. Um, had to get the uh, dump trailer back here to um, dump a little bit more three-quarter stone for our base. And I just made a uh, rookie error. Um, on the dump trailer gate, uh, you can see the mesh on the top there and the mesh on the side of the dump trailer. And as Benny moves this, you can see there's a little pinch point where the two pieces of mesh meet at the top left corner. And um, with my own stupidity, I guess, after I pulled up, I uh, tried to get some of the loose stone um, out of the trailer. And I had my hand up on the top of that mesh. And I kicked the bottom left of the, uh, the door to try to hit it and loosen up the stone. And that's where my finger got stuck in the pinch point. Job came to a sudden halt. No good. <laughs> Got a nurse for a sister though. I know how Here's your video, Dad. <laughs> Look at that nail. Yuck. That is yucky. Yeah, it's not just a pain, like a mm. wow. We're gonna do some nursing ingenuity uh, in the field. I don't like that idea. I'll make sure to get the uh, reaction. Yeah, you oh, is that to what get you the want? reaction. I'll get the reaction. Like the reaction. You are going to scream. Um, I had a bottle of water that he already used. I didn't oh. No, you can't. Pulling spring, that's the only thing that touches my blood system. <laughs> GoPro? Back off. GoPro? You got squeezed it, aren't you? Oh yeah. She's smiling. You're gonna get a pinchy pinch. <laughs> She's smiling. Oh, on purpose. This is very cold. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Wow! Come on, do I really gotta go to the hospital for this? Yes, you really gotta go to the hospital for this. <laughs> That's a good chunk of skin. You're just gonna wrap it up though, right? And do what you're doing? <laughs> For the love of God, you're gonna have to need a sister, and you're gonna go to the freaking hospital. Yeah, well, it's not freaking cheap for me. You have to go to the hospital to rip it out. You're gonna rip it out? <laughs> hospitable to they rip, it rip it out. They gotta rip that nail off. Yeah, they have to. Yeah. Dude, no, it's no not, they're not because no, it's attached no to the rest of the finger over here. Yeah, the nail is intact. <laughs> the nail is completely intact. The problem is, is the rest of your finger is still I know, it stinks. I'm in a horrible position here. So I should have just kept opening just the gate more and just taking the whole top off. I didn't have time. The top the very top. And then it... Let's, let's see the after effect. Yeah, that's I mean, awesome. the nail bed looks a lot better. That is professional right there. I mean, not, not no doctor needed. <laughs> no doctor needed. Get out of here with well, your you overpriced. A nurse was needed. <laughs> now it just looks like you ripped a hangnail off. <laughs> yeah. Well, a nurse was needed. Oh uh, no, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm keeping this balance. <laughs> They're the doctor's hands. So we're gonna get some butterfly strips. Could be worse. All healed up, guys. Well, not healed up. <laughs> Wrapped up. Got blood there. That was the pinch point, guys. Right there. That's where I lost my fingernail. <laughs> then I had to let the the trailer back down, so. A little bit of blood there. A little bit of blood over here. I had to mark the trailer as my own. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go find the one other blood spot. You know, the day was going great till that happened. But it's still going great. My sister's a good nurse. Passed me up good. Back to work. There's the other blood spot. All right, you laying papers, Benny? You picking them up and putting them down for me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Sure. All right. Well, there you have it, guys, the finger injury. <laughs> I just kept going because my sister did do a really good job. Um, after she cleaned it up and, and patched it up nice, it was definitely uh, looking a lot less worse than it did right when it happened. Um, but anyway, uh, I guess with those uh, injuries like that, all I can say is just be careful and pay attention, guys. When you're not paying attention, that's when things like that happen. But um, the nail actually took, I think, two months to fall off. And when I say fall off, I ended up having to rip it off because it just wasn't going to reattach to the finger, <laughs> which was kind of gross. But ripped that off, and now um, the fingernail is actually grown back, but there's a split down the middle. So it's like two different fingernails in one. I'll throw a couple pictures up right here. But um, yeah, so this was the day of. The nail was already coming off, but my sister did a really good job day after, but the nail just wasn't going to hold on. So the nail came off and then grew back pretty weird but um again just be careful guys and um pay attention that could have been a lot worse than it was thankfully it wasn't but um i guess right back to the patio here Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this part one of uh, laying this back patio. Um, so make sure to check out the second part of this where we finish up the patio and then there will be one more video how we cut in the border.